And can you uh, just talk about what we were just talking about? <laughs> I just realized that it is the summer solstice. We're sitting here on the rock in the middle of Woodland Caribou Park, and the sun's still up, and it's 10, but quarter to 10 Thunder Bay time, and uh, it's amazing. And so solstice is a really big deal because it is the longest day of the year. When in fact, it was actually yesterday was the longest day of the year. And now my heart sinks because it's all downhill from here because the days get shorter and shorter. Wait a minute. Is it possible that since we're in the next time zone over, <laughs> that this, the solstice is today? It could be. We can make it today. Zone. So... We're trying to remember what pagan rituals go with this type of celebration. We're going to have to put our thinking hats on and figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet, Ed. <laughs> well, should we continue the with started. the ritual? <laughs> you better turn that off. <laughs> Wilderness. Andy uh, has, uh, I suppose, a method uh, to see if the wood is wet or dry uh, that we're sawing right here. So we're we're going to show it to you right now. I got one. There you go. Okay, so I just smell it. No, you actually. I like it. No, you you just press it to your lips and oh. feel the moisture content. Oh, against your lip. All right. All right, the next one. They're both wet. <laughs> now that you kissed them. <laughs> Here, let's try a couple other samples. All right. That, oh, that's wet. That's dry. You got it. Wet, dry. Woo! My hero. Oh, where do I go? Mr. Baxter has a fish. It's a pike. You love pike. Nice Michael Jackson glove on. So uh, what we've been doing for dinners is that every person in the group does two dinners. So for whatever time we're out here. And uh, so we're taking turns and tonight is um, uh, Anne's, what'd you call it? Sweet and sour pineapple beef stir fry. Mm -hmm. So we have that, so we have rehydrated yellow peppers, rehydrated beef jerky, and rehydrated pineapples and onions. And it's mixed with soy sauce and ginger and garlic and brown sugar and um, cornstarch. So that's that. And then Uncle Ben's brown rice is ready in 10 minutes. So it now becomes even a better on the trail food as opposed to if you don't want to eat minute rice or anything like that. So it's ready here and there's soy sauce on the side in case you need a little extra salt to get through tomorrow's hot day. Whoever makes the best meal gets to have a cigar. <laughs> what is that, Andy? It's a uh, it's a either a portage marker or some kind of voodoo. <laughs> That's bizarre. I caught a lake trout for lunch. What about that? Just put my line in the water. Got a fish. <laughs> Haggard Lake. I think there's fish in Haggard Lake. Uh, Mr. Baxter, what's going on at this point? You are in the process of catching me dinner. <laughs> I want a walleye. Mr. Bax is all whiny because he, he didn't catch a walleye to eat. He, he doesn't want a lake trout. He's a lake trout. That's as good as walleye. I'll have it all myself then. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rumbly in my tumbly for walleye. That's good for dinner. Eh? Yeah. Very healthy looking. Put up a great fight with my little fishing rod. 
Yeah, that's a bizarre fishing rod. Can you tell everybody about that while we drift away? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> called an M rod. Yeah? And uh, I really love it because um, it fits in a pouch right in front of me. I can keep the lure on, fits right in the pouch. If I'm in rapids or white water of any kind, I can fish eddies. Just the convenience of it. I do miss having a full length rod for the fight of the fish, but we're just getting fish in the boat. Very effective. Well, we're on Haggard Lake. We're making our way down to Hag uh, down Haggard, and it's a uh, it's a really sunny day. Right behind me, you'll see some uh, old burn. Uh, that area was burned. I don't know. Um, actually, Andy was here back in the 80s, and he remembers it uh, burned then. So uh, it's a regrowth, and that happens a lot in Woodland Caribou. Basically, it's a boreal uh, prairie boreal forest, so it burns a lot, and you need that burn to happen to uh, keep things going out here. Actually, the Woodland Caribou love it. Uh, it regenerates the forest. So it's kind of neat, we, uh, we see this entire side of the wooden lake uh, burned with all new growth, uh, all lime green colors of jack pine growing up. And then on this side we have uh, old jack pine, you can tell the difference. Does my hair look okay? Looks the same as it did yesterday. <laughs> so uh, I was just uh, chatting amongst uh, ourselves here about the uh, sizes these jack pine on the point that we camped on. And it's pretty uh, clear, these are bigger than usual. and. Our guess is that uh, the last time a big fire blew through here, this point got uh, got missed, and that's why we see the uh, extra large jack pine uh, just growing locally here. It's kind of kind of cool, but that's fire for you. It goes where it wants to go and leaves a few patches here and there. If you do one thing uh, this year, go out for at least a five-day trip or more. Um, if you go out for a one-day, two-day trip. It's great that you do that, but you'll never reconnect to what's out here. You need to get comfortable with your surroundings and get used to going from A to B with all your belongings and actually get used to the rhythm of being out in the woods. There was one moment at lunch today, I was sitting on the rock looking at the waves on the, on the lake and just absolute bliss out here. And uh, yeah, make sure you go out for a longer period of time.